All right, there Crystal, what are you taking a look at? Well, there is something major bubbling at MSNBC right now. So just a few weeks back, rumors started to emerge that their biggest star, Rachel Maddow, was considering moving on. The nation's preeminent Russiagator was reportedly ready for a little change of pace. Insiders told the Daily Beast that the grind of a nightly show for more than a decade had worn her down and that she was considering making the move to independent media, maybe something like podcasting. In a sign that she actually meant business, she even switched from her longtime agent to Ari Emanuel. Now, the rumors were credible, but you never really know whether these people are serious about leaving or just using leaks and rumors as a negotiating tactic. Looks here like she actually meant it, because while MSNBC did manage to sign a new contract with Maddow, it came at a hefty price and with huge changes to her role at the network. So here are the details as we know them. Maddow's new contract will net her $30 million every year to stay at MSNBC through the 2024 election, a scintillating affair likely to pit Joe Biden's corpse against Donald Trump's lunatic culture war ravings. But I digress. That new contract also means the end of the Rachel Maddow show as it exists today. The show is going to run through the spring of 2022. That's less than a year from now. At that point, Maddow will move to an intermittent presence with the program that airs weekly maybe only 30 times a year. That is a whole lot less Maddow and a major problem for that cable news network. Now, some of the details honestly are a little bit sketchy because MSNBC is being very cagey here. As Eric Wemple points out over at the Washington Post, normally a big contract deal like this that would garner a big splashy press release, but so far the PR team has said nothing. In fact, network executives have refused to comment on the record or even confirm this contract and the new terms at all. Put it all together and you get a picture of a desperate network willing to give Maddow anything she wants just to keep a tiny scrap of her presence. It's kind of pathetic when you think about it. The end of the Maddow show represents a tectonic shift in cable news media and a possibly devastating blow for MSNBC. Even as ratings have cratered at that network across the board, people still show up for Maddow's Trump-Russia conspiracy hour. I mean, substance aside, you gotta hand it to her. She is one of a very, very few cable news hosts that anyone actually gives a shit about. In fact, I would posit that the list is basically two people long, Rachel Maddow and Tucker Carlson. It's no accident that both are masters at playing into, playing into the most fevered conspiracies and basest instincts of their respective audiences. Just take a look, though, at MSNBC's ratings from a recent weekday. So here you can see it on the screen. MSNBC viewership jumps up almost 100,000 from 189 to 280 when Rachel comes on and then immediately loses about the same amount of audience when she goes off. <laughs> they don't have a single other personality on the network that people make a point of tuning in for as appointment viewing. That's why she was able to extract so much money and so many concessions from them. They've literally got nothing else. Remember, prior to Trump, these networks were completely screwed. They just couldn't get people to tune in during the twilight years of the Obama presidency. Young people realized long ago that they would have a far more accurate view of world events by avoiding cable news altogether like the plague that it is. But these networks were gifted this incredible villain who leaned into the part and kept an exhausted nation tuned in night after night after night to see the latest ravings from the madman. Russiagate, of course, was the perfect conspiracy drama. Every night introduced new plot elements, new characters, cliffhangers with the final dramatic ending where the wrongdoers were brought to justice always just around the corner. Unhinged conspiracy, but make it highbrow. With ratings elevated by that international spy mystery drama, one would have thought that some breakout star or another would have emerged. Someone who could carry the resistance lib torch after Maddow's eventual departure. But none did. MSNBC's mindless, repetitive drones were wholly interchangeable and predictable. Not one distinguished themselves from the pack. And now in the Biden era, the network is more and more irrelevant. The bad man is gone, and Biden himself ranges from boring to disappointing. If you are a personality-driven horse race outlet, he just doesn't give you a whole lot to work with. And the network's paid warmongers have mostly panned the only actually good and courageous thing that he's done so far. It's sad that Maddow is being rewarded so richly for spinning a tangled web of conspiracies that has broken the brains of wine moms and the wine mom adjacent across America. It's even sadder that in a time of profound change, tumult, and uncertainty, this supposed bastion of progressive politics 
really has nothing to say that anyone finds remotely interesting anyway. Instead, it's just a demented pipeline for well-intentioned suburbanites to be mainline propaganda from spooks, war criminals, and propagandists, fed hours of programming to convince them that their neighbors in reality are little Hitlers in waiting. Maddow's show was the tentpole, propping up MSNBC's entire primetime lineup, made the entire Potemkin village collapse with her exit from the nightly scene, leaving her dull imitation scrambling and failing to recreate the magic. More likely, though, they'll just team up with CNN to will another Trump presidency into existence and keep the boomer-fueled gravy train rolling. And Sagar, you know, it kind of went under the radar that her show is ending. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.